Welcome to the first VetNet Direct Surgery software demonstration. Uh, this is purely um, an indication of how far we are in, in the project. It isn't finished by any means, but it does give some idea of what we're aiming for. I'm already logged in, uh, and I'm logged in as a head office here. The head office is in control of four surgeries. That's Cats R Us, James's Dog Clinic, King's Vets, and Neil's Vet Center. This is all test information, nothing more than that. It's just to give you an idea of what would be happening. So if you were a head office and say Cats R Us has asked for a locum to be found, they set the surgery, so that's the one we're working with now, and we're going to start a search for a new locum. So we're going to look for, at the moment, uh, another test box of dates. And although I should actually put something there a little bit more meaningful for you. So how about we have uh, James is off on holiday. There we go. So that describes what this is covering. And we're going to say we're looking for a veterinary nurse. I'm going to create this box. And this brings us to our calendar page here. We have on here um, a box where it shows any locums that match all the shifts. I'll explain that in a moment. So we're going to jump uh, to, um, in fact we'll stay on this week, and we're going to say that James is off Monday from 8 o'clock. There we go. He's off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we've got five shifts that might need to be covered. He also, on Wednesday, doesn't start at 8. He was doing a late shift, so we'll just drag that down a bit. He was going to start at 1 and finish at 11. So the actual shifts are staggered. Now it tells us in each one of these boxes when we start and finish. It tells you how many locums match. So in this one there's three, uh, four rather. This one there's three. That one there's four, four, four. So the most there's going to be that match all of them is four. But because this one, there's only three matching, that means at least one locum can't do all five shifts. So we could exclude it from the search. So that changes it. You see now there's four surge, uh, four locums available. If I put it back in the search, one of them disappears. Um, so for the moment we'll leave it out of the search. This shows how flexible the system is trying to determine what locum is available. So we have buttons exclude, we can delete a slot entirely, we can drag it around, we can change the size, start and finish time. The whole thing is, uh, is perfectly adaptable. Now what we're getting over on this side is we have update box button just to make sure that the information is actually correct. And it actually says that there's four locums that match all the shifts. And there's one, two, three, four shifts in this. We've actually excluded that one for the moment. And it's telling us that the first one is me, second one is Donna, then there's a test one, then there's another one. It gives you a brief summary. This is by no means the finished article. It's just to demonstrate. Now all I need to do is if I wanted to look at me, there you go, I move the mouse over the box, and it brings me to here. Drops the calendar and puts this information on the screen. So it would tell me where I am, it tells you a contact telephone number, it gives you your write-up, it gives you a write-up there. If I had a registration number as a, a, a locum, it would be here, and any qualifications that I've got. And again, this is all just a test. We're, we're just getting the data onto the screen now. We're going to try and rearrange it into some meaningful order. But from here, we would be sending an offer. Uh, we would mark it as a favourite, or if we want to come back to the calendar, we can do. That takes us back here. So if I was to put that back in, I will disappear because I can't do that shift. Uh, so all you need to do to find in somebody is just move the mouse over the locums that are available. When you find one, send an offer. This is where we're heading. Uh, this is, like I say, very basic, uh, but thank you for giving us uh, three minutes and 50-something seconds of your time to have a look at the software. Thank you very much.